So, good morning everyone. I hope everybody arrived nicely at this little word camp, which got a little bigger over time. Um, I will be talking about, uh, oh, first of all, my name is Philip. I'm a web designer from Cologne. And uh, yeah, basically I'm, I'm not a good programmer. I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, designing and uh, I can make WordPress websites and little tweaks, but uh, if it comes to plug-in programming or something, I'm out. <laughs> That's just a little something about me. I, I design for uh, customers directly and uh, that's yeah that's what I do. Um, today I'll be talking about the uh, web design today, how it is and um, what we can make of it and uh, yeah it's um, I start with the sad part <laughs> so it gets... It looks, it looks like very nice too. Can you lift it a little bit? L lift this? Oh I don't know actually. Maybe they have the button. <laughs> oh, I have actually, I, I don't know, but this looks really attached, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like it can move. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll start with the sad part, so that's uh, so that that is gone. Um, we, we like to make uh, websites for uh, our customers and make them nice and uh, work very nicely and uh, be fast and everything. And, but the sad part is uh, often the budget. Uh, you probably all know. You have like a budget and you program the website and uh, then you run into errors and stuff and then uh, you, you, the budget runs out or the customer doesn't even have enough money to, to uh, build something nice. And um, yeah, that's always a little sad. I always try to, to, to give my customers a little bit more. So when I'm finished, I add some stuff or something so the web, uh, website gets a little nicer. So that's just not a working website. Um, and what happens with the um, budget is uh, usually this. <coughs> I let that sink in for a second. <laughs> it's uh, it's like what every website today looks like. Actually, it's a you have the logo up there, then you have the menu, and then you have the big slider. We all love the big slider, and actually, we all also know what's coming after this down here. It's those three icons, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, that's actually a, a little sad. And um, yeah, we should try to make it. Uh, look different and yeah on 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 the mobile phone it just <laughs> scales down and that's it and then you have the burger menu of course <laughs> yeah um what's wrong with this is also uh is branding because when your website all look the same you 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 can you don't have a brand anymore you can just put any logo any content it all just looks the same and uh, this is actually another uh, thing I noticed it's all those uh, all those app websites they all look the same as well they have the you know I mean you can see it <laughs> you have that background a little and then this like uh, the button for signing up and yeah that's it and um, yeah first because this uh, is for everything I'm going to talk about uh, performance in multimedia. It's um, very important these days because um, we all uh, use our uh, cell phones now and uh, in a lot of places you, you don't have a good connection or something so uh, you have to uh, make it really work. And um, uh, what happened over the last years is uh, that the, the, the size of the websites got bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean you can see it's up to uh, two megabytes now and uh, as you can see at the right at the end here it drops a little bit that's because people uh, now notice that if you have a fast loading web page it's good because people don't come to your web page wait 15 seconds or even after three after three seconds 40 percent of the people will leave your web page if it didn't load so um, go to performance budget io give yourself a performance budget that means uh, uh, think about uh, 
yeah, how how much you want the user to load, and um, yeah, I always make the websites work on uh, 3G mobile, on mobile 3G, and I always think about like two seconds it has to load on 3G, which is not that much. <laughs> so you have to be a little bit uh, yeah, careful of what you're loading and how you're loading it. Um, this is a tweet from uh, Karen, and um, she said, uh, this website is useless and terrible, but it loads quickly. Uh, it's because of this uh, little chart here, and um, yeah, it says uh, what the website experience, uh, what, they, uh, what the users expect, and uh, it's uh, all expected good performance, and uh, fresh and updated content. I mean, content is uh, very, uh, uh, yeah. You have to have good content. I think everybody knows that these days. Um, I actually think that the, that is wrong. What she's saying. I think uh, it's uh, you. Um, you have to have uh, good content. But if it doesn't load quickly, everybody leaves. So it's a little bit different. My <laughs> kind of angle. So um, what you have to do with uh, performance, and uh, I hope everybody uh, tries that in the future, is. Uh, that you, this, these are just some things you can do. Is you have to smash your pixels. I put on my JPEG compression sweater today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's probably a little bit too much of a compression, but uh, always compress your pictures. And uh, there's like tools like, uh, I think it's called uh, Smash It. It's just a plugin, does everything for you. And there's different ones out there. Uh, lazy load your pictures. Often you have a block with like uh, 30 pictures going down. So uh, you want them to uh, load lazy. That means uh, they load when you scroll down, not right at the beginning. It's just uh, loading what you, uh, what you can see. But when you scroll down, everybody has seen that on different apps and stuff, that it loads when you scroll down. Reduce your fonts, um, your, your, um, your, your um, typefaces. It's, um, yeah, you, you get with the, uh, with the new WordPress themes, you, you often get the opportunity to uh, load like 50 different fonts for every single thing. I just had a customer and she was loading uh, seven different Google fonts on, on her first page. And that's like, it's killing it. That's like 50 kilobytes for each font. And uh, yeah, it's loading, loading, loading. And you can load them asynchronously and uh, yeah, then it all goes a little faster. Caching, caching, caching. I hope everybody knows that. If you have a WordPress page, please cache the page because uh, otherwise that will slow it down really a lot. Reduce your scripts. Uh, sometimes you don't even uh, need jQuery. So uh, you can throw that out if you don't need it. Um, load them asynchronously. And uh, if you can, load them at the end of the page. And uh, gzip, and there's some more things you might want to look up when you're at home and uh, yeah, learn about performance. It's really important. Um, is it question and ask? Yeah, you can ask, of course. CDN is an interesting thing, and I wonder whether this helps here in Germany because I think the services are mainly in the US. Oh, you have to you have to um, look what um, and where. If if you if you're German and have German customers, it's uh, it's okay to have a, a German server, and that's it. But CDN is always if you like take uh, uh, um, there's there's also some European ones and um, they they are just incredibly good at uh, delivering stuff very quickly, even better than your usual web hoster. So uh, it's uh, quite good if you if you take one. But you actually you Maybe if you have clients on other continents like the US. No, actually it gets also faster when 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 you're in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you can do. Uh, the servers are spread worldwide anyway. Yeah, they are, they are worldwide yeah, anyway. When, when your visitors are mainly coming from Germany, I don't see the sense of it having. having it's, uh, still, it's still quicker because they're just so good at delivering the stuff so fast. If you have a. a, a and I mean, I, I just uh, did like uh, 550 kilometers from Cologne to here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's still a way. And they have servers everywhere, so it really gets faster. Um, I'm going to go with uh, simple typography. Of course, we're talking about the design today. We start with typography. Um, what I see these days in, um, 
is really uh, some uh, errors in the themes. We, we all have that full width page themes and stuff like this happens. Uh, this is the, uh, they have, um, they have like these full width pages and you, they put little type and then they put the type like this and uh, you can't really read it. It doesn't work. It's um, yeah, too small and too wide and uh, a lot of times this happens now with the, also the one pager themes and everything and uh, it's just not working I think and uh, you should really uh, see um, that you avoid this stuff. And also this is a uh, 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 sun serif, uh, so no serifs. And um, this is a different one, this is from Medium, I think you all know Medium probably. And they have a quite good, they have a full width page, but they put the type a little bit like this so you can perfectly read it. And you should all think about doing that. And um, that's just simple stuff. Um, this is a picture I took, uh, I think, six years ago <laughs> here in Berlin in, uh, at the uh, Mauer Park. And uh, that, uh, back then there wasn't much scrolling going on, actually, but these days it's all about scrolling. And it's because the user has learned uh, if, I don't, if, I have to, if I click, I have to wait for something. And if I scroll, I don't have to wait for anything. So the users, the users actually like scrolling. And, uh, we have to think about that, and um, it's not that bad anymore um, yeah. because when you when you load the stuff uh, right the right way, you can make a scrolling page, you can make a one pager, whatever. If you do it right, you can have that, and um, but you can also make it exciting for people. I mean, this is like a full uh, um, um, advertising page. And you can make it fun for them. I mean, have it move a little bit, and uh, you can show the people, OK, we have it uh, nicely, and do a little nice scrolling stuff, and uh, have some effects going on. And this is also what will be coming in the future, is uh, a lot more animation, but I'll get to that a little later on. Um, <coughs> mobile first and responsive stuff. Um, Everybody thinks that we have to uh, do the mobile first thing. Actually, I don't think so. It's, uh, it's not about, I mean, you can do if that's what you're aiming for. It's, uh, you have to think about um, more about location and stuff because um, uh, the user that's on his mobile phone maybe wants something different than the user that's just on his screen here. Uh, at home or um, in the office. And um, um, I have some examples of that. Um, here's the Motley Crew website. It's uh, actually, even they have the big slider on top and <laughs> this just like a simple WordPress theme. And um, they have uh, their shows, the news, and the latest tweets, which this, this is the blog, basically. And um, then on mobile, of course, it has to switch. And we all know uh, that this has to switch, and uh, and it all goes underneath everything. And the uh, thing is, you have to think about how it switches. Because what happens is, um, you might want uh, to have your latest tweets at the f as, uh, as the first thing, or get the get connected thing, <coughs> because that might be the most important thing for you that the people follow you on Twitter and Facebook and uh, Instagram or whatever. And um, you really have to think about uh, what you need there on the mobile thing or when people are on, on the run. And uh, so this is basically, if you have the website, you have these things and you really have to think about how can I reorder them on my mobile so it's good for the user and good for me. And um, here's a little example uh, I did for uh, practice. Um, and uh, the most important thing um, for somebody on mobile is actually this. When, when is it open? And we need the telephone number and where it is. And um, you don't need all those pictures and everything. So on mobile, I, I put them underneath. So when, when you open the page on your mobile, you have the phone number and you know when it's open. So it just 
switches. Because usually when you're on mobile and on the run, and you know, oh, I have to look where it is again, and, or, oh, I have to call them, I'll be there later. It's the first thing you want, so you have to give it to the user. Uh, that's just a little thing. And uh, let's talk about bootstrap and conversion, the, the shopping thing. <laughs> this is uh, something uh, I see a lot these days. Uh, I mean, first, this, I think this page, uh, 20, 100,000 people looked at it. It's uh, like the perfect landing page. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it basically, uh, yeah, you have the... Uh, you have the button above the fold and everything, and I mean it's the same like logo, link, 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 yeah? and uh, you have a picture and uh, some testimonials or trust thingies, and uh, I always have the impression that all these marketing people they read this stuff and then they um, make a web page just like that. And I've, I've found uh, some people from Cologne that actually did this, and this is what happens. It looks exactly like that but it still doesn't look very nice, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, you have the picture, or here is just a video, and you have the register button, and they probably tested out <laughs> seven different colors for the button and uh, stuff like that, uh, but uh, nobody actually thought about design because, I mean, their, their name is like standing alone here after this whole big sentence, and yeah, this is also not very nice, this trust thingy. And uh, yeah, this is what happens. And it's also, they, they, the marketing people, they read, oh, uh, we have to take Bootstrap. That's the easiest and fastest way to make our lean startup uh, get ready on the internet. And uh, yeah, this is like, a, I think, five, six-year-old uh, Bootstrap. And also, those web pages all look the same. I mean, they still have those old buttons down there. We all know those buttons because you see the, this Bootstrap theme everywhere. And it's just a little boring, and it's about um, branding again. If it all looks the same, we don't any know anymore that it's the brand or something we uh, we uh, want to look at. I mean, on this page, you wouldn't even know you're on the Ampedo page anymore. I mean, th and that's just scrolling down a little bit. And yeah, it's all about doing things maybe a little different and think about it. And even if you use a bootstrap, maybe update that a little later and <laughs> uh, think about uh, that your web page needs to be up to date and uh, not so boring anymore. And uh, I, I've just seen on Zalando, I put that in like three days ago, um, they, they changed uh, the, the usual product page. Everybody knows how the product pages look like. Usually it's the, uh, this uh, thing here, and then it's here the button, and then this, this would be on the right or underneath or somewhere. And uh, I thought that was incredible. I thought it's just uh, it's just that it's a little different that makes it uh, uh, already better. I think it's still like a shopping website, not that uh, exciting, but uh, yeah, it's a little better. Um, we get to um, navigation and animation. So we try to make uh, nice web pages for our customers, and they all work and everything. And um, these days, we're getting to the part where web pages start to be uh, like Flash used to be 10 years ago. But actually, it's not gotten that far because the animation thing is still that complicated. And, um, but I think a lot will happen in the future um, that um, we all have to think about how the animations work and uh, make them work and have uh, fun with it. Um, with the navigation, here you see Meshable, they do a little, I think it's actually a little boring. Um, this is the, the normal web page, and they have like, uh, when you go on social media, they have the, their first four uh, block entries there, and um, always with a picture. I don't actually know if that helps anything, because I, if you see those pictures, they actually don't add much to the actual uh, headline. And uh, then you have the, uh, uh, on the mobile, you have the, um, the, the burger <laughs> again, and uh, the burger menu, and it just slides to the side. And that's also a little boring, I think. And uh, also, you have a, an ugly scroll thingy going on here. And um, I, I try to make that different these days. Um, it's 
Oh, yeah, now it's playing. So this works a little different. It switches when you when you click one thing, and you have like uh, more pages underneath that uh, thing. It just switches back and forth, and uh, that's just a little idea what you can do to make the experience a little better. And something happens, and it's a little animation, and um, you can, um, yeah, don't have any scrolling stuff or anything, and just just a little fun. And like this, you can also add more fun stuff to the web page. These are just some examples from uh, CSS buttons. It's just um, that you can add something to make the user have a little fun on the web page. Uh, like we've all seen the search bar thing. <coughs> and uh, with the menu burger, you can also do nice stuff. <coughs> Maybe, yeah, you, you, give, you give a little, little something to the user for using stuff. That's al always, you, uh, yeah, you have to give little presents. Like when they click, they get a little present. When they scroll down, they get a little present. And just make it, make it fun for them to use the web page, and uh, everybody will be happy. Um, what we also see a lot is uh, new icons and uh, color coding. This is actually the new, new game. That's an app, actually. That's a new Google Play app. And, um, what we see a lot is uh, icons. Icons actually don't work very well when they're all alone. So uh, people tend to go and put the names to the side. If it's just icons, people sometimes don't know. And people always search for text the first thing. And then they might look at the icons. So they uh, change that. And um, then um, you also here have uh, little animations, which are fun color changes and Accessibility and SEO is uh, actually I don't have any slides for that. I'm not very good at accessibility, but uh, when I uh, when I make a theme, I try to follow uh, the rules from uh, from our uh, WordPress accessibility team, and uh, I think you should too because um, we have to build sites for everyone. And uh, with the SEO, it's the same thing. Um, don't be too over SEO-ish because it uh, just makes your web page ugly. I mean, we all know that big old text at the bottom of the first page and we all think it's ugly and it doesn't help anyone. <laughs> so I personally, I don't really like that. If you make a good website, I think uh, Google will also know that you made a good website and if you got good content, people will uh, visit your website and um, look at everything. Yeah. Um, is that it? No, not really. <laughs> because you, you guys, you have to go out and um, be brave and uh, take your content and make a nice design from it. And I, th always, I actually think content first, because when, when you have the right content you want to put on the page, then you can start designing. Because uh, if you just take a WordPress theme and, um, and, and press your content in there, it, probably won't work or not very nicely. I mean, we, we all had that, that the client sends you text like three days before the website is done and then it's like uh, three sentences and then you have like the big old picture on top and then it's like three sentences underneath and you all think, oh no. <laughs> so um, get your clients to deliver some content first before. Uh, mobile first, I just talked about it. Um, you don't really have to think mobile first. You have to think uh, what what has to be there on mobile, and what has to be there on the screen, and how it's um, located. And um, also think about um, where your users are located while they're using. Maybe you think about oh they're using the tablet. Maybe they're sitting on the sofa. 
they want just want shopping and they have to click with their finger, so we have to do it like this, and always think about that a little bit. Um, and the morphing design, that's what I just also said, is uh, you have to do the uh, relocating of the uh, content. And um, here's a little thing from, uh, that's actually Air Airbnb. It's not, uh, it's not on WordPress, but it's still a website like any other. And um, yeah, they uh, just going through this and analyzing this with the stuff I just told you is um, and on the uh, normal web website. They have uh, a video in the header because of performance. You can put a video here, just a small video. On mobile, it's just a picture, so it doesn't have to load that fast. Uh, it loads fast on mobile as well, that's what I mean. The search is reduced because they also thought, uh, okay, maybe on my, uh, on my computer I can already uh, put in how many people, how many days, um, and what I'm looking for on, on mobile. It's just, uh, it's just the location where you want to go. So they think about, okay, people don't want to type 30 things on their mobile because it's, it's kind of a hassle. So they just put the uh, short search on there. And then, uh, yeah, they have the weekend things, th those are the same on mobile. The world stuff is reduced on mobile, so they don't have to load that many pictures. And uh, there's also a big uh, slider down here. It's also gone on mobile because that would take too long to load. And the whole community thing is also gone on mobile. So you have a quite a short page, actually, on mobile. And, um, yeah, it's just a good example of how things you can make things work for uh, different locations where what people are doing on your uh, on the cell phone or on the screen um, yeah I'll try this now oh that didn't work of course <coughs> we go we do it like this <laughs> <coughs> It's just an example. I hope, I hope you're all not downloading stuff. See, this is a little loading guy. Fun. <coughs> they have a black and white video, which is not really big, so it loads quickly. So it's just black and white, so, you know, it, it just goes fast. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff happens. And when was the last time you've seen typography going sideways? Nobody does that anymore. I mean, <laughs> it's just, you know, be brave and try something new. And... Uh, when you scroll down, a little bit of stuff happens. Yeah, it's actually not. You're probably all downloading torrents or something. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, little video down here, and that's that's I think the best uh, the best uh, call call for action button I know. It's when you uh, when you go over it. It just goes big and huge, and uh, it's the only thing you can click on. <laughs> so, no chance of doing something else. Very good. Um, yeah, basically, I didn't think I was going to be that fast, but this is my last slide. So, I say thank you, and uh, thank you for listening, and I hope you're all having fun visiting the board camp and uh, yeah maybe we'll have a beer later on tonight <laughs> thank you very much the slides are here so um, if you have any questions uh, go ahead no big questions yes all the same. Yes. Really, I mean, it's a big problem. There's a logo there, and the links there, and the rest. Picture there. What's your solution? What do you do? What do, you do? Well, you have to tell your customers. That's I. I always tell them um, that the um, you know even the sliders are disappearing, because all the other sliders the, the user has learned there's nothing in this slider that will help me. All the, because all the sliders, uh, it's just like a big picture and a little bit of text in this. And people, if they see the slider, they scroll down immediately because it, it's not useful anymore. So just tell your customers how it is and uh, give them numbers. Try looking up numbers that, you know, 90% of the people scroll by the slider anyway. They don't see that. So you don't really need a slider. Please start with your content right away. 
the people will like that and see the content right away. And uh, yeah, sometimes um, some of my customers uh, don't actually see that and say, yeah, but I want the slider. Then you have, of course have to do put it in, but uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah you have to reason with the people, but sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, and tell the people yes, please. Well, it's nice to have uh, things moving. Of course, it can it can be uh, can be a bit of a nuisance for some people. But if I mean that was like a dancing web page for for dancing and stuff, and of course you have to put something there that's moving. But um, you in also in this case you have to think about the customer and uh, what he what he needs and uh, the, and the customers of your customer, actually, because what they want is what it's important, not actually what the customer really wants. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, bit. Can you say a little bit more about the morphing technology? I'm interested in No, the morphing, it's, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not about technology, it's uh, actually making the responsive design think a little further. Mm -hmm. how, do that you, how do you do this? this is interesting. What, how do you do? Making think the further? Responsive <laughs> design thinking further. How do I make the, yeah, you uh, think about the responsive design. First, because um, all we, we do at the moment is a lot of times is uh, you have like your web page and the sidebar, right? Mm -hmm. And you can you can have like really important stuff in the sidebar on on your on your on your screen, right? And then the people are on your mobile and it's way down there. Yeah, and, and but uh, how did you get uh, a sidebar on the right side? I think it's a technical question. Yeah, that's that's the more technical stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. It's a programming thing. Okay. You have to change it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can try at home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I was wondering if you have an alternative to the The alternative to the hamburger icon. Yeah, that's a big. Um, actually, a lot of websites now use the hamburger icon, and we all see that, and we all know what that is. Uh, my mom probably doesn't. <laughs> But um, I always try to put um, the name next to it. I always put menu next to it because that uh, very uh, much a lot of um, uh, things have shown that um, people will, will actually see that as menu. And, um, and if they read it, they now know exactly, oh, it's the menu here, so they click there. And uh, yeah, just make it big. And the hamburger icon, I think, won't go away. Um, it's just uh, there. You just tweeted uh, or retweeted them. Um, uh, oh yeah, from uh, Morton. Yeah, where, where the menu button was actually in the on the button. button, which was a rather smart idea because you can easily uh, access it with your thumb. If, if the menu button is not in the upper right, where you actually don't reach with your fingers. Uh, yeah, that's also a good idea. Yeah, you have the the. the uh, what Bigo just said, you, you usually have the, the burger menu on the top left, which is quite hard to reach on your, on your uh, mobile. And uh, Morton, I think you, you can follow him on Twitter as well. So a very good uh, designer also for accessibility, has some nice themes on WordPress. And he just tweeted that you can you know, put the menu down here. It makes it just easier for the web page to use. And then maybe have the menu pop up or something. Think of new stuff and think how people use their cell phones and computers and yeah just make it work yes that's him yeah <laughs> i think it's uh, he's uh, at m o r 1 0 on twitter more 10 yeah yeah it's a good guy to follow yeah all right Thank you, <laughs> and have a good day, and have fun. See you guys later. <laughs>